Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom Minecraft maps in 1.16.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting custom maps, even showing you how to find some awesome Minecraft maps in our list here of 15 custom Minecraft maps. We've got this list in the description down below. We're going to be downloading a few maps from here and installing them. But first, we do have a SMR sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible Minecraft server running any of these custom maps for you and your friends. You can easily set up custom maps on a server with Apex Minecraft hosting. So if you want to play a custom map with your friends, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to do it. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the only place to do it. Check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get some custom maps. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is download a custom map or two, and we're going to be downloading a few here. So we do have this list in the description down below. It's the second link down below, and it's our list of 15 custom maps for Minecraft 1.16, and actually all these do work in 1.16.2 as well. I'm going to show you what to do if they're for like version 1.16.1, and you're playing on 1.16.2. I'll show you how to convert them very, very easily. It's all done for Minecraft, nothing fancy. But nevertheless, that is going to be shown here, and all these maps do work on 1.16.2. I did test them before this video. However, I will say that uh, you know some of them do need to be converted but they still all work properly. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and download this one, which I think is kind of cool. 2D parkour with a twist. So we're going to click on this green download button. It's going to open in a new tab up here and take us off to Minecraft Maps, where we can scroll down and click on the Download Minecraft Map button. Now this one will download directly, so it's going to go ahead and download in the bottom left. You shouldn't need to keep or save the file, but you might need to on Mozilla Firefox. Nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and download that one, and let's grab a few more here. Let's grab... Minecraft Odyssey. This is like a more of a survival map, I think. So let's go ahead and click on download there. Takes us again off to Minecraft Maps. We're again going to click that download Minecraft map button and it will download in the bottom left. And then let's grab one more map here. Do any of these, let's see, let's see. Any of these catch my eye? These are all really good maps. Let's do Bastion Parkour. Click on the download button there. It again takes us off to Minecraft Maps where we can scroll down and click on the download Minecraft Map button and it will download in the bottom left right like so. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here at desktop we have 2D Parkour with a twist. We have Minecraft Odyssey and we have Bastion Parkour. Now before we can install all of these we need to make sure we get them basically extracted and into the right folder. To do that you want to right click on them and click on Extract All and then click on Extract. And you want to do this with every single one of these. So, guess what? Minecraft Odyssey, want to do the same thing. Right click on it, click on Extract All, and then click on Extract. And then, guess what? Last but not least, we want to do it with the 2D Parkour as well. Right click on it, click Extract All, and click Extract. Now, if the maps you downloaded aren't on your desktop, by the way, they're going to be in your Downloads folder. And to find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, type in Downloads. You know this Downloads File folder, click on that, and you'll find these maps in here, or whatever map you want to install here, drag them to your desktop, and then again, right click, extract all, and then click extract, and then you'll get these folders over here. You can actually delete the folders that you downloaded. You don't need those anymore. You just need these extracted folders that are no longer zipped. Now, before you go and trying to install these in Minecraft, you need to make sure you got the correct folder dug out here, basically. So if we just go ahead and double click on Bastion Park here, if we were to drop that into Minecraft, it wouldn't work. What we need to do is click on Bastion Parkour or whatever map you have, right? Click on your map and then keep clicking until you see Dim and Dim-1 or any of these folders here, right? Like advancements or, you know, level.dat, region, any of this stuff. If you see any of these folders here, guess what? You've went too far. You wanna come up here to the top left, click on this back button, and then drag this folder to the desktop. Now, in some cases, you'll open it up and it'll immediately see all these folders here, or at least a few of them, like I said, Dim1, Dim-1, Region, something like that. Whenever you see these type of folders, you can immediately close out of it if, again, as soon as you open it, you see them. So if as soon as you open it, you see them, you can close out of them. Otherwise, like this one right here, Minecraft Odyssey, you want to open it up, you see Minecraft Odyssey there. Oh, there's our folders, POI, Region, Stats, Player Data, all that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click the Back button. Then we can take Minecraft Odyssey and drag it to our desktop. Boom, done with that one. And then last but not least, we do have 2D Parkour, where we open up this. It's not there. We want to go ahead and click on 2D Parkour, the twist, and there it is. Advancements to data, DIM1, DIM-1. Awesome. We can click back and drag that to the desktop. 
Now, we can delete all of these folders because well, there's nothing in them. And even if there was, if you kept clicking through the folders, you eventually would just get to an empty folder. So we can delete all of these. However, we want to make sure the map that we're installing, or maps in this case that we're installing, are showing dim one, dim dash one, things like that when they're open. So let's go ahead and double click on it. Boom. This is what you should see. Something similar to this. I might not have all these folders, like advancements might not be there, or data packs, or something like that. But it should be at least some of these folders. Bastion's parkour is good. Minecraft Odyssey. Open that up. Boom. We see the correct folders. And then last but not least, 2D parkour, the twist, we see the correct folders. That's awesome. So all of those are now ready to install. To do that, we're going to click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen most likely, but get in that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. This time, we want to type in Run, Are You In? You'll then have this Run app here. Go ahead and click on that Run app. And in the Run app, you want to type percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign. Percent app data percent, exactly like that, and hit Enter. And that'll then open up your roaming folder. And in here, you'll have a .minecraft folder. Double click on that .minecraft folder, and you'll see a saves folder right down here, right? See saves, double click on that. And now to install any of these maps, all you wanna do is take them from your desktop and drag and drop them into this saves folder. So from the desktop and drag and drop into the saves folder, right like so. It's gonna copy them all over, boom, and there you go. Now, one more time, let's double check that as soon as we open these up, right, we immediately see dim one, dim dash one region, some of those folders there. So boom, there we go. This one, there we go, we are good to go. And then Minecraft Odyssey, same thing, boom, we are good to go. Awesome stuff. I'm also gonna go ahead and kind of delete some of this because we just, we just don't need it. <laughs> we just don't need it. Let's go ahead and delete those, boom. But nevertheless, we do have our three custom maps installed. Now it's pretty simple. We just open up the Minecraft launcher, we open up Minecraft 1.16.2, and then they will be in single player. It's that quick, that simple, and that easy. No more complicated than that you know i mean it's, it's a simple process from here except i do want to show you what to do to convert a map now all the maps that are on our list are 1.16.2 compatible either they can be converted like what we're about to do and they work or they're just native for minecraft 1.16.2 so whenever we're in the menu here i'll be able to show you that and show you how that works so here we are in the minecraft main menu we can click on single player and we do have 2d parkour we also have Bastion Parkour, and then we do have Minecraft Odyssey. This says Adventure Map, but as you can see there, it says Minecraft Odyssey. And so if we rename this to Minecraft Odyssey, right like so, and then click on Save, we now have that there. Let's actually start with that one because it looks the scariest, right? It doesn't have any preview or anything. So we're gonna start with that one. So if we double click on it, it's gonna say, this world was last played in 1.16.1. You run 1.16.2, please back up in case you experience world corruptions. You can go ahead and create a backup if you want, but truthfully, it's not necessary because guess what? If this is the first time you've opened the map, if it does have an issue, you can just re-download it from the website and get a clean copy that way. It's not gonna have an issue, but nevertheless, you could if you wanted to. So I'm gonna click, I know what I'm doing, and just continue in with this map. And as you can see, it loads right on up, joining on in, and boom, here we are in the custom map. I don't think there's any denying that this is a custom map. We can go ahead and click this button if we want. Minecraft Odyssey teleports us, and basically we're started, right? As you can see, you woke up feeling terrible. Evil has awakened. Beat every temple, the fire temple, the desert temple, the Deku temple, heaven, and the water temple. Every temple you have completed will be upgraded. We'll upgrade your hero sword. Have fun. Get your sword out of the chest. And as you can see, there is the hero sword. So awesome stuff there. This is a really cool, really cool custom map, but we're not playing this custom map today. We're just showing you how to install them. Again, we're going to show you this a few more times here just to kind of make sure everything's on the up and up and make sure you have seen that this is going to be okay if you convert these maps. Some people get overwhelmed by this, they get scared, and again, if you're doing a single player world, by the way, like your own personal Minecraft world, yes, back it up 100% of the time, always back it up. But with these custom maps that you're just downloading for the first time, you don't need to, because if something was to happen, you could just, you know, re-download it, it's not a big deal. But nevertheless, so there we go, Minecraft Odyssey is now set up, let's do 2D parkour with a twist, double click on it. And then I know what I'm doing. It's gonna go ahead and load the world on up. And this is actually, this is kind of very interesting here. So as you can see, disabled, enabled, night vision. So that's cool. Single player only, FOV setting 30, difficulty easy. So we can go ahead and, you know, follow the rules here if we wanted to. We could set FOV to 30, right like so. Click done, boom, and there we go. So yeah, as you can see, 2D parkour. And it's actually, does this have custom? Yeah, so this has custom controls which is kind of crazy. But anyway, as you can see, there's definitely a... Uh... So right click to jump. Whoa. This is, this, is, this, is, this is very weird. This is very weird. But nevertheless, as you can see, this is a very cool, like sort of 2D parkour sort of a thing there. And um, yeah, I don't know. Very, very cool. We keep dying because this is a super hard map, but it is working and we are good to go there. As you can see, you've got all this stuff. And if we look in chat, so you don't need to... 
You don't control it the regular control slash keybinds. Hold shift and press Q to see all custom commands. So you hold shift and press Q and there it is. So you have all these different custom commands. You can right click to jump. Uh, hold shift and right click to super jump. So let's see. Ah, okay, I see what we're doing now. Okay, wow, we're playing with the villager. That is that is actually really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. So boom, all right, boom. Hey, 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 oh, and we died. But yeah, you get the point, that is awesome. Okay, anyway, nevertheless, that is that parkour map. And then one more here, we do have the Bastion parkour. I know what I'm doing. This is actually from a snapshot of 1.16. It's still not gonna matter. It's still going to work. Our FOV is 30, let's get that back in line there boom but yeah so there y'all have it that is how you can go ahead and get any minecraft map that you want in 1.16.2 now you can convert some 1.15 maps without much of an issue but be careful if you're converting older map versions you want to make sure that the map is at least made for like the 1.16 snapshots and you know if it's not then you might have some issues there but nevertheless that is how you can do that my name is nick this has been the breakdown enjoy your new custom minecraft maps and i am out peace